Hey everyone, welcome to this tutorial about photospheres or 360 degree photos in frame. So to bring a 360 degree photo uh, into your frame, you can either use the add to this frame dropdown or you can add them first to your inventory and then always have them in here uh, and then simply use the green plus button to bring it in. Now, 360 photos do need to be either .png or .jpeg files, and the best kind of formatting for a photosphere is called equirectangular, which means that its width is double its height. So for example, uh, dimensions of 1000 by 500, that is equirectangular. So um, I'll go ahead and bring one in. I do have a few in my inventory, so I'm going to go from there. Got one uh, called Outdoors. Now when you first bring one in, a photosphere shows up as this uh, kind of small rotating little orb. And if you're in edit mode, you can click and drag it to move it around. I can position it over here by clicking and dragging and then moving my avatar over here. But then when you're not in edit mode and you click on uh, a sphere, it will expand. And it will expand for everyone who's in the frame. So when you do this, it doesn't just show it to you locally, it actually will show it to everyone. So you can kind of uh, expand it for everyone and then show them around. A handy feature, by the way, when you do have a sphere expanded is the laser pointer, which you can press P to turn on or use the in-world user interface as well. Now, once a sphere is expanded to go back to the home environment, if you look down kind of by your, where your feet would be, you'll see a return home button that you can click to go back. Now, a few interesting things about spheres that's worth kind of diving into. If you expand one and then you refresh the frame, like if someone were to come to this frame right now, and in fact, I'll go ahead and do this, it will actually be expanded uh, right when people join it. So it kind of like, it remembers that you expanded your sphere. So if you want the sphere to be expanded as soon as people enter your frame, you can do that. Just expand it and then don't return home, okay? Another interesting aspect of spheres is that that same sort of thing applies also with scenes. So right now I'm on scene one of two. And if you need a uh, little video on scenes, there, there is one. Um, but if I expand this on scene one and then move to scene two, of course it's not expanded anymore because I'm on a new scene, but then as soon as you move back to scene one, it will be automatically expanded. So it's, it's, it'll be kind of as you left it, which is kind of cool. So in theory, you know, you could put together a bunch of different scenes, each one having a sphere that's expanded on it, and you could kind of take your audience or class uh, through a sort of tour of different spheres. Now, one last thing for spheres that is worth knowing, I'm gonna go back to scene one here. There are two settings in the frames, uh, in your frames tab, in the settings for this frame, I'm assuming that you're on a frame that you own, that are relevant to spheres. So uh, one of them down here, this one says, show scene assets when the photosphere is expanded. You'll notice when I expand it now, everything else hides, right? All my other images and videos and so forth. But if you happen to want those things to stay visible, you can toggle that on, and then you'll see when I expand this, this PDF is still in view, okay? And you can toggle this on or off uh, whenever you'd like. The other setting is show environment when Photosphere is expanded. Now, this one doesn't have any effect really in this small gallery. You'll see I'll toggle it on and then turn this on. And the sphere doesn't even expand, right? Because we've said we want the environment to kind of stay in view. So it's not really relevant for this because if this is toggled, you know, you won't even see the sphere at all. But where it does come in handy is if you're on the large gallery environment. So I'm going to switch to this gallery. And what makes this environment different is that it has these windows, right? So now if I were to I'll go ahead and bring in another sphere, there we go. If I have this setting on, show environment when sphere is expanded, and I click the sphere, you'll see the sphere does show up, but the environment stays visible too. So you can have this effect where you could see the sphere through the windows, which is actually kind of a powerful, uh, cool, and dramatic effect if you, if you use it the right way. 
Okay, well, there you have it. That's kind of the basic of spheres. I'll also share some other resources on cool places online where you can find uh, photospheres that we know are formatted the right way for frame. And of course, you can take your own if you have certain smartphone apps or certain cameras that take that kind of photo. Okay, good luck.